Welcome back to Chicago, Darren Pang. Or as we like to call him, Spank. Might as well get that started right today. Um, it's a tremendous thrill and honor for me to be able to uh, speak for a couple minutes about this, this great, great man. Yes, as Darren mentioned, uh, he brought me back to the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, but I want to tell you a quick story about the way Rocky always seemed to be. And any, any of you who have interacted with him would know this is true. A couple months after I come back, we're at some charity event. And uh, I'm walking along, and Rocky and I cross paths. And we say hello, shake hands. And he says right away, he says, I'm really looking forward to watching TV now and watching you do the Hawks games. You are right where you belong. How cool is that? I mean, so we shake hands and walk away. There's a 15-second transaction that sticks with me almost two decades later. You know, when the boss drops that one on you, it's pretty cool, you know? So um, that was one of the gifts that Rocky had. He was an uplifting, giving man. And he had, always had a way to make people feel important and feel special. Didn't matter whether you were the plumber or the bus driver or a CEO, he had a gift for conversing and even in a short interaction, making people feel better than they did before they said hello to him. He had a tremendous gift for that. I have a question for you today. Is Rocky Wirtz the most popular owner in the history of Chicago sports? Now, Darren mentioned this. I, I say that in the context that it doesn't matter what city you're talking about, what franchise you're talking about, the owners are generally not the most popular people in town. Why? Well, because all of us fans know how they should, should be spending their money better than they do, right? Hire this guy, fire that guy, trade for that guy. Let's hire, let's get this free agent. So the owners have to live with all that, and very rarely are they popular. But at the beginning of this uh, broadcast today, you heard what happened here at the United Center very shortly after he took over, the fans chanting his name. And when he did take over, Blackhawks were in a bad way. You know, in sports, it's no good when people are mad at you. There's something worse than that, is when they don't care about you. And when Rocky took over, the Blackhawks were irrelevant in the city of Chicago. There were no TV ratings. There was nobody in the building. You're going to hear from Brent Seabrook later. He played in this building with four or 5,000 people in the stands. I'd be sitting way up there at the roof calling the game, and you could hear the puck hit the stick on a pass. It was embarrassing. But that's the situation Rocky walked into. Not long before he took over, the Blackhawks were named the worst franchise, not in hockey, in all of sports. That's what he took over. But immediately, he started doing the right things the right way. The first call he made when he got control of the franchise was to a fellow named Jim Carno, who ran the TV station, uh, Comcast or Sports Vision, or whatever we were back then. But he said, how many of my home games can you put on TV? Now look at that, as many of you remember, was the biggest thorn in Blackhawks fans' sides. You couldn't watch the home games on television. Rocky changed it right away when he took over doing things for the fans, making them feel welcome. He reunited with Blackhawks alumni players. Now, unfortunately, before he took over, when you untied your skates for the last time as a Chicago Blackhawk, good luck to you. I mean, the legendary Stan Makita told me a story back in the day. He wanted to bring some friends to a game, and they gave him some tickets, and they charged him for them. So Rocky wanted to make former players know that they were welcome, they were wanted around here, and rekindling the relationship with the alumni was just a spectacular thing that, uh, that he pulled off. And again, it was the right thing to do. One more question today. 
Is Rocky Wirtz the most important Chicago Blackhawk ever? Look, at there have been a lot of great coaches come through here, a lot of general managers, a bunch of spectacular hockey players, everything from Hall of Famers to people who have their numbers hanging from the rafters, to role players. You know, every good team, you have to have a role and be willing to accept and execute. So all those guys meant something to Rocky Wirtz. And he did not revitalize this franchise. I don't think that does him justice. I believe he saved it. And again, the Blackhawks, when he took over, were irrelevant in this time. Uh, and Rocky made you feel welcome. I'm sure many of you had this interaction. We all knew where he sat. He'd be right up there in the corner. Among the fans, his security guy, Kenny, would be hanging around, but he was never needed because religiously people are coming up to Rocky, will you sign my hat? Can I take a picture with you? He was always welcoming, always affable. He was a fun, fun-loving guy. Uh, he was very much a giver. So I'm not gonna take a lot of your time. I just uh, appreciate the opportunity to say a couple of words about a great man. Rest in peace to the most important Chicago Blackhawk ever, William Rockwell Wirtz.